So this time I'll show you a tool to get two's complement from binary numbers. It relies on vertical XORs. Uh, your number goes in the bottom input and also in the upper input of all the next XORs in the line. So if you have one here, the power the upper inputs here of these XORs and every single one in the line. Um, it's a modular design, you can expand it to every size. So let me make a little test. Uh, I've input 2 in binary. Uh, on the left side here is the least, sing uh, the least significant bit, the right side the most significant bit, or in this case also the sign bit. Let's see. Oh yeah. Least significant, most significant. You see this is negative two. If we take it on the other side, well we get the normal two. Let's see. Uh what would be five and negative? This is a negative 5. Hmm. What would be, uh, let's say, a negative number? Uh, what would be this? Ah. Of course, yeah. Just said it. So, what would be this? 2, 3. Okay. So yeah, um, it's just one way to get two's complement. Um, to get it, you basically just invert all your inputs and then add one to the number. I don't know if uh, design using adders would be smaller or faster or would have any advantages. Um, Yeah, well, you could use an adder for different calculations. So if you have an ALU or maybe your whole processor, it uh, sure would be easier to use what you already have. But if you uh, make smaller things, you maybe could use uh, something like this. Yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching.